1918, the disease was called the Spanish flu, but it almost certainly didn't come from Spain. One modern theory is especially shocking. The disease that ravaged the globe may have been born on the prairies of the Midwest. There's a distinct possibility that it actually started in western Kansas. In February 1918, a doctor in Haskell County, Kansas, named Loring Miner, reported seeing a spike in patients with the flu. Loring Miner noticed a population that he was servicing you know, was getting sick, and very sick, uh, with an influenza unlike any he had ever seen before. He considered it so serious, he felt the need to alert the US Public Health Service to this. But the deaths in Kansas may not have been the first. In January that year, flu targeting young adults also hit the East Coast. There was a late winter wave in New York City. Conceivably, somebody from New York carried it to Haskell, or it could have gone the other way around, or neither of those things. We, we just don't know. Loring Miner's warning from Kansas gets little attention. Seasonal flu is a contagious but common illness. It was pretty much lost. Besides, America has bigger concerns. The previous spring, in April 1917, the nation had declared war on Germany and joined World War I. In Washington, D.C., President Woodrow Wilson needs more troops as fast as possible. John Barry believes that one of those new soldiers was an early carrier of the disease, who may have helped spread it more widely. His name, Albert Gitchell. The first identified patient to report sick was very early March, uh, 1918. He was a cook. Albert Gitchell is a typical American doughboy, an ordinary enlisted man. Every region of the country is producing soldiers for the war effort. 20% of the soldiers are immigrants. They speak probably 100 different languages in the military camps. This is a real snapshot of where America is at that moment. Gitchell reports for duty at newly created Camp Funston in Kansas, just hours away from the outbreak in Haskell County. He's a member of the 164th Depot Brigade, supporting other recruits. He puts his butcher skills to work, feeding hungry mouths. His job is basically to touch the food that hundreds or thousands of soldiers might eat on any given day. But that March, Gitchell falls suddenly ill. Burning throat, aching body, fever of 103. lands in the infirmary. Within hours, more than 100 other soldiers report identical symptoms. 46 men die. It's a serious outbreak. No one has any idea that the disease will soon steal across the United States and that what is happening on an army base in Kansas is about to bring the nation and the rest of the globe to its knees. <laughs> 